Hello again, everybody. Nice link here, back with another Let's Play. As promised, here it is. The Legend itself. A game so awesome that it debuted in a major Hollywood movie. Super Mario Brothers 3. Let's go ahead and jump into this. This game right here, folks, was my all-time favorite game for the original NES. Yes, Super Mario Bros. 3. I absolutely adored this game as a kid. I could not play this game enough. I literally was obsessed with this game. I would literally... My, like, my homework would always be half done. And there would always be sketches of <laughs> Mario and Goombas and Koopas and Bowser and Peach all over the homework. It's like, yeah, this this was this right here was. You know, I've been playing video games for many years by the time this came out, so, you know, ever since the Atari 2600. But this game right here, man, this game right here was just this was this was my this was my game. Oops. Okay. And as you can see, there's you know. A lot of differences between this game and many of the previous titles. Uh, in this game, it's the first Mario to intro excuse me, introduce a flying mechanic. And basically, you build up your little bar down there, and you fly up, and you just you know, repeatedly hit A to fly. Very easy controls here. I thought the controls were vastly better than that of the American release of Super Mario Bros. 2. Which I like that game, too. Ah, oh, crap, I kind of messed up my running there and didn't get a star. But basically, at the end of them, each level, you get a card. And if you match three cards, you can get more 1-ups. If you don't match the cards, you still get one 1-up after three. So basically, each episode, I'm probably going to do a world per episode, hopefully, if I don't keep doing that. I got owned right there. <clears throat> but this game is is just definitely wonderful. It was, you know, I mentioned earlier that it debuted in a uh, major Hollywood movie uh, with Fred Savage uh, called The Wizard. Uh, you got over nine thousand noble dragon? Um, if you've never seen that movie, go ahead and watch it. It's actually a really good movie, in my opinion. I like that movie a lot. If you hit this again, go back up here. Oops. Well, we didn't take long to get to our first death. It's okay. Little, just working out the rustiness here. I did do a practice earlier and made a couple accidental deaths, but it's a Mario game. Those will happen. Sometimes when I'm playing this, I'll get the controls for this mixed up with Super Mario World 2. Um, that's another game that once um, once I do some stuff that I plan on doing here in the next couple days, I'm probably that's going to be a future thing that I'm going to do. Go down here and grab these coins again. You know, as in every Mario game, 100 coins equals one up. Also, if you jump, this was also the first Mario game where if you, um, no, that was in Mario 1, where if you jump on enough enemies, you can get a one on the moment. Oops. Grab that. Of course, they're also available in mushroom forms, you see. Wow. Grab that. And there's, there's different types of Goombas. There's the para Goombas and regular Goombas, and there will be other forms of the Goomba that we'll see for later in the game. And of course this makes its also oh, great return. Wow, thanks, game. Sending it the other direction. And there we got a star. But yeah, I remember the first time I played this game was actually um on my neighbor's Nintendo uh, NES. He got it before I did, and I remember playing this game. And just being like, oh god, I have to have this game. And I was like, bugged my mom for so long to get this game. And finally, I believe we got this... I think this is another game I got on, on a Christmas. We 
we've got most of our new games on Christmases and birthdays and such. So whenever you see these right here, these pink colored uh, music blocks, go ahead and jump on them and it'll send you to a bonus level. If I had the uh, raccoon tail, I could actually fly up there and grab some additional coins and a one-up mushroom. Um, yeah, um, interesting story about this game. I actually, you know, at one point in my childhood, I got grounded from a, an extensive period of time from playing video games. But, uh, my birthday came up around the time, and my mom, you know, for my birthday, ungrounded me so that I could play some games. So I sat down and played this. And in one setting, on my 13th birthday... Oh, whoa! Whoa! That's so awesome! Those are so hard to get, and I wasn't even trying to get the money ship! Oh my god, that is so cool! Um, I don't remember the actual way. It has something to do... Um, I'll look it up, and I'll, I'll, I'll mention it in the next episode. But it has something to do with the amount of coins you get, and... The time at the end of the level. That, it's so awesome! I can't wait to go play that! And here's is a toad house. Um, you pick one of these boxes and it'll have an item. Hey, we got a leaf. Cool. Oh my god, I can't believe I got that money ship! I don't think I've got a money ship in my last ten playthroughs of this. Totally by accident, and I did it on stream! Wow! That is so cool! Uh, well, it always goes the other way on me. Oh, uh, that's cool. Wow, I can't believe I got the money ship. I'm still in awe of that! So awesome. Yeah, this game was like the first Mario game to introduce, you know, Easter eggs and surprise levels and stuff like that. You know, the two previous titles, and even the uh, Mario 2 version in Japan didn't have. You know, Mario 2 in Japan kind of had bonus levels, like after you beat the game, there was more you had to do, and I totally blew that. Um, if you get all of the coins in this level, this also unlocks a uh, white toad house, and I believe you get uh, a warp whistle in it. I'm not going to use the warp whistles in this game, because I want to play all the worlds in this game, and show everything off. So we breezed right through that level. Excellent. You can go ahead into this. This is uh, another little mini game. You line the pictures up and get a prize. You only get one try! Let's see if we can. Oh gosh. I always feel like this is the hardest one. I think I messed up. Yeah, I messed up. Four eyed flower shroom. <laughs> now we head into our first mini dungeon. Castle, fortress, whatever you want to call them. And go ahead and grab this power up. Almost blew that. This is a pretty simple little place here. You want to dodge those, those will hurt you. They're not spotlights. They're... Somehow, light can damage Mario. I guess he's allergic to light. And grab this. Um, I'm not going to do it. But if you fly up there, uh, up and around, you can head over there and grab another warp whistle. And it will automatically have you beat the dungeon. Not going to do that, though. I actually want to beat the, the boss of this. Head over here. Wait for this to come back up. Let's go through this door, and... <clears throat> Here is Boom Boom. This was the first game with him. You've probably seen him in a lot of newer games like Super Mario 3D Land, Super Mario 3D World, and some other newer Mario games. And just like in those games, you jump on his head three times, grab his question, and that's pretty much it. Or you can shoot him a couple times with a fire flower. So here we've got another mini game. This is a, uh, a match game. See what we got here. I think we can. Oops, nope, not there. What we got? All right, here's two. Anytime you match something, you get the item that 
you match it up. Okay, at least we got a fire flower out of that. I'll take that any day. Those are very useful. I love the music in this level. It's a remix of the original um, underground area of Mario 1. Head on over here. Hit that off collar. You noticed uh, I went too fast, but uh, you notice how everything in the background has little white and blue circles. Well, those two right there will be pink to show you if there's a secret there. And now this time I've got the raccoon tail. I can show you what's up in the sky here. And grab some of these coins. Okay, here we go. And you just go right there and hit that block. You get a one-up. Grab these. Go ahead and just cruise on over here. Look out for the spitting fire plants. They make their debut in this game. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with them. And we're here. We're at the end of the level. <laughs> Two fire flowers. So you probably noticed before that we unlocked that money ship. Before that was a money ship, that was a Hammer Brother. And we'll encounter more of those and I'll explain what it was once we get it get to another one. Here's our first, you know, major platforming stage. Just, you know, be careful, don't fall in the pits. I'm gonna get that, get that up there, and there's a one-up mushroom in there. And this one here, some money, some good old rupees. There's all the reference for you there. But yeah, Mario 3 is a game that you know a lot of people hold near and dear. Um, it was remade for the Super NES. Uh, Super Mario All-Stars bundle that included Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, 3, and some versions even had, uh, darn, I didn't match them all, had uh, Super Mario World with it. I actually owned that copy as a child. Now we get to do the money ship. Oh, so cool. I haven't done one of these in a long time. And there's no, there's nothing here to worry about. Just grab as much money as you can. Great way to, to spam, or excuse me, not spam, but uh, farm some lives. See if we can get them all. Oh, this is so cool. I'm so happy I got this on stream because this is literally one of the hardest things to get in the game. Unless you're really trying for it. I mean, I wasn't even trying. Just totally got this by accident. I, even, I don't even know which levels that you get them on. And there's certain levels... And you have to end the stage with a certain amount of coins, a certain amount of, I want to say, the, the, the amount of time. Oh, like I said, I'll look it up and then the next one. Oh, there are Hammer Brothers here. Let's go ahead and take out these two Boomerang Brothers and get a secret prize. There's a Star Man, which would have been the prize had we just got the Hammer Brother in this stage. So let's go ahead and head in here and pick a box. Got a magic mushroom. Give me some shrooms, man. We're going to party with the princess. Help. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Please find the magic wand so we can change him back and get rid of all of these fleas. So this is our first... Fi first uh, world-ending dungeon. This is our first airship. Nothing not too hard here. You can just jump on these cannon balls and kill them. And there's our old friend Bullet Bill. Oh, he got me right in the face, too. That probably minimally hurt Mario in real life. Oh, crap. I got shrunk. I'm going terrible in here. Get our magic mushroom back. Quit fooling around. You kids, and you're fooling around.
you have a raccoon tail, this stage can become a real good grinding spot for one-ups if we keep jumping on things. Here's our first uh, Koopa Kid. I think this is Larry Koopa. Correct me if I'm wrong. If I am, I'll correct myself. And there we go. We beat him. Just three hops. Grab his wand. Hey, look at this guy. Oh, thank heavens. I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here is a letter from the princess. And you'll get a letter from her after every world you beat. Greetings. If you see any ghosts, be careful. They will get chase if you turn away. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you, Princess Toadstool. And that is a P-Wing. Which is the most OP thing in this game. Basically, um, I like to save those for a really hard level, but it lets you basically fly right through a level. And this is a little sneak peek at World 2, which we will do in the next stream. Or, excuse me, in the next episode. So, I'm calling this a day. Everybody, enjoy yourselves. Um, this has been Nice Link, and everybody, God bless.